All right, everybody. Welcome back once again. It is still Wednesday, uh, August 29th, 2018, 536 p.m. And my, oh, my, how things change so very quickly. Uh, very quick, though, I want you to look at the temperatures we are dealing with in the northeast and in the south, uh, clearly across the entire country. Uh, we can see that cold front has lifted. Um, I do see another one on its way in the coming days as far as a dip in the jet stream. We will talk about that as it comes. But uh, just a quick look at some of these temperatures, guys. It is so muggy in the Northeast that you cannot be outside without dripping sweat. It's just unbelievable. Uh, we are back in the hundreds down in areas of Arizona and Nevada and Southern California. Um, like always, right back to normal. Texas is being scorched right now. Um, I want you to look at this lightning chart really quick, and we have a lot of action going on, not only in the states themselves, going all the way up the Ohio River Valley to the northeast, but in the Gulf, which we talked about before. And I'm bringing this up for a reason, because there's now a second area being monitored in the Atlantic Ocean. So not only do we have our invest uh, showing a full-blown hurricane in the coming days, we are also watching an area right around here that has possible development for cyclone formation. So we could be dealing with two hurricanes at the same time in the Atlantic Ocean, one possibly affecting the Gulf, the other kind of wibble wobbling through the center of the Atlantic. And if we watch one of the charts, this thing does make a little bit of a left turn towards the upper northeast. Uh, certainly we will be watching that. But the main part here today, um, I knew this was going to happen as soon as I posted my other video. Miriam and Norman are officially Category 1 hurricanes. Norman is on track to be a uh, very quickly forming strong hurricane. We are at 987 millibars in pressure. If you guys remember in the last video, it was in the 990s. We are at 75 mile per hour sustained winds. We need that 74 mile per hour mark to get to Category 1. Uh, Norman will rapidly intensify, in my opinion. I think this storm will reach very, very strong numbers. Miriam, on the other hand, I'm not too sure about. Because of that northern hook we've been talking about, it's going to get into cooler waters above Hawaii before it reaches Hawaii. Chances are Miriam will not be a threat. We don't know quite yet. But Norman is a different story, guys. Norman is growing quick. It's already a Category 1 in about a quarter of the time it took for Miriam to develop. And once again, because Miriam's northern movement, Norman's going to hook underneath it because of a thing we call Fujiwara, where two hurricanes interact with each other. And unfortunately, Norman is going to be pulled to the south and then it's going to start moving up. But will this south dip cause it to beeline towards the Hawaiian Islands? That's what we need to focus on. So I'm going to keep this quick and to the point. We are at 987 millibars, well below the 992 that Miriam's at. Both are showing the same amount of wind sustained. But uh, we can almost guarantee Norman will be the stronger of these two storms um, and form much quicker. And then, of course, we have the next storm, Olivia. Um, this chart is showing 10%. My other chart showing 30%. We'll give it some time to, uh, you know, progress and see what's going on. We have raised from 50 to 60% now for our hurricane formation. This would be Hurricane Florence coming off the west coast of Africa past the Cape Verde Islands. And you can see just as it leaves those islands, it's going to be hooking in this direction. And then in the next chart, you're going to see it do almost one of these things and come into this area. So during its travels, if we have one little shift in pressure change, whether that be the Bermuda Atlantic pressure or the jet stream itself, we could be dealing with a hurricane not affecting any of the leeward islands or any of this area but coming straight towards the northeast so uh exciting stuff yet scary stuff at the same time and just to verify that other area being monitored by the leeward islands and puerto rico and the dominican republic so on and so forth uh we we could be very well seeing a cyclone formation in this area too now because of these islands it does have a little bit more of a chance of not forming by interacting with land but if this thing can somehow escape if it comes under this way or above this way we could see the formation of a second cyclone in the atlantic ocean 
which would be Gordon. Now, whichever of these form first will be Florence. The second would be Gordon. Those are the next two names for the Atlantic season. And to end it up, let me just show you what the current path of this hurricane that we are expecting to come from the west coast of Africa, as we showed with that 60% chance, which rose 10% in the last hour. You can see how this thing rapidly forms. We get down into the 970s. We get down to the 960s as it's in the dead center of the Atlantic Ocean. And then check this out, guys. This is where things get interesting. It makes that left hook right there. And that is very significant. It may not look like anything drastic, but we can see how it wants to go west north and then it wants to hook to that area right in here and again in the coming days it's all going to depend on the high pressure bubble in the bermuda atlantic and the jet stream of the u.s this thing could very easily come right into the northeast and if it does you know that we will be all over this and you will be seeing it all over the place so just wanted to make that quick update guys uh thank you for um all the positive comments and stuff in the previous video you guys are wonderful. Caroline and I couldn't be more thankful for you guys and um, enjoying our information that we put out to you. Um, I do plan on making another video later tonight um, as these things progress. Uh, this is how it goes, guys. When these things start to form, they start to form and they come one after another after another after another. So um, those of you that are saying that this is going to be a weak hurricane season, you might want to hold off on those opinions for just a little bit longer. All right, everybody, have a great evening. Um, I'm going to do my best to get back here again tonight. If not, tomorrow morning, let's drink some coffee together. All right, guys, have a great rest of your evening. Bye-bye.